What's up everyone, my name is Mark Hawk, and today we're doing one of the most comprehensive comparisons we've ever done. We're putting the GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Edition up against the GoPro Hero 3 Plus Silver Edition. Now you could use any one of these quick links to jump to topics such as field of view, Pro Tunes, low light, to jump to that section immediately. Otherwise, wait around a few seconds and we'll go through it all. Alright, let's get out there. So in this first section, we're going to be taking a brief look at the various field of view options you're going to have with the GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Edition and Silver Edition. We're going to have the Black Edition on screen left, Silver Edition on screen right. Both cameras are filming at 1080p, 60 frames a second. Now if we zoom into 100% here, you're going to notice right away that the black feels a little washed out and a little red. I feel the red is definitely a profile error. I think this will be corrected in a future update, but I'm not sure, but it does feel wrong to me. In these landscape shots you're going to notice we don't have a lot of distortion. We're going to come visit distortion later on, but it's kind of important to see even in wide, narrow, medium, we're not seeing a lot of distortion with these nice establishing shots. As we zoom into 100% here, take a look at the ground texture on the Hero Plus Black, tons of, tons of detail. You look on the silver, it's very blurry and muddy in comparison, same resolution, same frame rate, and that Porsche's uh, brake lights are going crazy. So here we have the narrow angle, I generally don't film on this, I feel like it's, it feels too zoomed in, especially when you're doing a lot of action shots and you're following people. But for these nice sort of landscape shots, it's not bad. You're definitely not going to see a lot of distortion, though it, the quality is not going to look anywhere near as good as medium or wide, especially. You're also going to notice some weird things with the grain on the Silver Edition, uh, no matter what sort of zoom level you're at, what, what sort of field of view level you're at. I wanted to see how Superview was going to distort these wide, establishing landscape shots. It's generally meant for these times when you don't have a lot of space between you and the camera and you want to capture as much of the world around you as possible. Uh, you'll notice as I walk in I seem a little more distorted than the plate on the right, which is just the silver filming in its normal wide mode. Now the silver does not come with a super view mode that is only on the black. Here we see all four camera angles compared to each other except for the bottom right, which is just the silver's wide repeated just so you have a reference of super view on the left. So we're going to take a look at these chrome wheels right now to get an idea of what the sharpness difference is between the Hero 3 Black and Silver. The Hero 3 Plus features new lenses that are supposed to be twice as sharp from the previous year's model. Now if we zoom in around 300% here, you're going to notice the black on the left is much sharper and cleaner, while the right side is much muddier and has more aliasing. Moving on to photos, you'll notice the black's 12 megapixel photo definitely is bigger than the 10 megapixel photo of the silver, which is actually a megapixel less than last year's silver model. So as we zoom into 100%, you're going to notice some big differences between the black and the silver right away. The black is going to feel a little more washed out, but a little sharper, while the silver seems more contrast and more eye appealing. But if we zoom into 300%, you're actually going to see that washed out look is helping us retain a lot more data than in the silver edition, which is a little muddier and a little more crunched. So these cameras have been sitting around for a while doing nothing, let's kind of get them in motion. This test is being filmed at 1080p 60 frames a second, but you're only going to see it playing back on YouTube at 30 frames a second, but it shouldn't really take away too much from what I want you guys to see here. And look at the sky, right now that red is really kind of ruining those clouds, but those clouds look great on the black compared to the silver. When you look at them side by side, those clouds are much sharper. Along with the bump in video quality, we also have a bump in audio quality. In fact, it's quite a huge bump in audio quality compared to last year's model. Now, both the black and the silver, their audio now is pretty comparable to each other. We're going to switch back and forth between the two, see if you can spot the difference.
here, it's pretty late in the evening. The sun's about ready to set. We're kind of on the mountains. This is usually around the time I start putting helmet cameras away. With the exception of one, I'm not really a huge fan on how helmet cameras perform in the evening. That being said, both Hero 3s here are filming at 60 frames a second, and they look fairly good for the low light conditions. Now, if I were to bump that down to 30 frames per second, I believe the, the picture would actually be a little bit brighter and actually might look a little bit better. But even now, this still looks really good. So as we film later into the day and light is taken away from us, the camera is going to try and compensate for that. And what it's going to do is it's going to gain up to try and boost up the exposure, but with it it's going to bring a lot of grain and it's going to really make our footage unacceptable and really unusable in my opinion. One thing with the Hero 3 Plus Black Edition that I didn't notice until we started filming at dusk, and that's that there are these crazy lens flares that appear on the black version. If you actually go through all of the older footage, you'll notice when light hits it, it has these same sort of vertical lens flares. I think they look kind of cool, but I also don't think it's kind of intended. And if it is, I don't see it on the silver. And I understand for a lot of you, that could either kill or seal the deal. As we come around this corner, you're going to see another pair of awesome lens flares. Lame lens flares, depending on how you look at it. They're awesome. So here's where we're going to start to dig a little bit deeper into the Hero 3 Plus Black's new Super View mode. So right here, we're starting off with 1080p at 30 frames per second wide on both cameras. Now you're going to see when we go into Super View here, our field of view is going to become pretty insane. We're going to get a lot more of the sides, a lot more of the top and the bottom. Look at my arms, look how much more information we're getting there. Look at the windows, look at the roof. All of that has a lot more information. Now you also notice a lot of the distortion is mainly on the top and bottom, but I'm also being slightly compressed. The reason that this is happening is because imagine you're looking at a four x three television. Now imagine you're squishing the tops and the bottoms to fit a 16 by nine aspect ratio, but then some of that four by uh, the, the width is also being squished in left and right. That's basically how we're taking the image from the sensor. We're taking the 2.7K information and squishing it down into a 16 by nine frame or 1080p frame in this example. Speaking of 2.7K, this is an example of the highest resolution 30 frames per second footage you can get out of the Hero 3 Black compared to the highest resolution 30 frames per second footage you can get out of the Silver. Now it's true, you can do 4K footage with the Black, but that's only 12 to 15 frames a second. So again, we're going to be comparing the sharpnesses of these two lenses. Now the footage to say squished in the middle is the Silver. On the left and the right, you have the 2.7K Black footage. Now look at the bushes and the hood of the car, they look super sharp while silver in the middle remains pretty muddy. With ProTunes enabled on the Hero 3 Plus Black, we get footage that's at a much higher data rate and gives us a lot more control in post with color correction. Unfortunately, it would appear that ProTunes has been removed from this year's Plus Silver Edition. However, it still remains in last year's Basic Silver Edition. So now with our logarithmic footage, we have a lot more control over what we can do with the plate. Now, we can make it warm, we can make it cool, we can make it muddy, we can make it bloomy. We can do whatever we want and it's not gonna we're gonna have a lot of information to work with now if we apply those same color corrections to our already color graded plate on the right you're gonna see we crunch the blacks a lot we lose a lot of information we don't have control over certain areas and it's just not going to look as good you can still get really good results out of it it's just not as powerful so with the hero 3 plus series gopro has gone in and reduced some of the lens distortion you see in the center of the frame and while that doesn't remove it from the sides of the frame, you could actually use their Cineform 2 software for free to remove a lot of that distortion. Now what we were just looking at was 1080p wide. This, however, is super view mode. Now you'll notice a lot of the center does seem to be a bit straighter, but that's because we're squishing the top and the bottom of the frame. There's still the same amount of distortion if you were to unstretch it. If you focus on the edges here as we pan to the left, you're going to notice the bars go from being bent to being straight to being back to bent. And that's just because of how the lens curvature works. Now if we were filming in medium or narrow, basically if you were to cut a square out of this square, that would be your medium. If you cut another square out of the square, that would be your narrow point of view. So that's why you're losing lens distortion when you're filming in those uh, field of views. Did we miss covering something you wanted to see in this video? Let us know in the comment section below. Got a question not related to this video? 
feel free to send me an email at markhawkcam at gmail.com or visit our Reddit community at reddit.com forward slash r forward slash helmet camera. And remember, if you found this video helpful in the slightest, make sure you spam all of your friends with the link. It really helps me. But you're probably not convinced yet. How about I throw in some slow motion golden retriever footage? That's right. Slow motion golden retriever footage. Like, subscribe. Thanks, everyone. My name is Mark Hawk, and I'll see you out there.